and he will do anything to save her from herself, even if it means protecting the man who killed their son. But will it all end in redemption or retribution? <gasps> Hello Tandem fandom, my name is Lex and welcome to the Tandem Collective, where you can get all of the latest book recommendations from Team Tandem. I'm your crime and thriller correspondent and today I'm going to be talking to you about some of the most hotly anticipated crime and thriller titles publishing this year. This is one of my favourite topics. I love to know what's coming out ahead of the year and I love to know what people are excited about. So tune in because I have got six of my recommendations for you for the year coming now. The first book that I want to talk about has actually just published. So we are, I'm a little bit behind on the times on this one, but I knew it was going to be top of my TBR as soon as I heard that it was coming out. And this one is The Wrong Sister by Claire Douglas. So this came out on the 14th of March. So just gone. Um, and I'm a, I'm a Claire Douglas super fan. Like I am a huge fan of her work. Uh, this book absolutely ticks the box for me if you're a fan of Claire Douglas already this one will fit perfectly in with your preferences um we are talking cold cases we are talking mysterious uh family members there's a big theme of trust within this book and how you essentially just cannot trust anybody at all um but I love that I love that kind of um duplicitous nature for characters and something that Claire Douglas does in her books that immediately just ticks a box for me is you are in the story from page one there's no preamble you don't have to spend time getting to know people and setting things up you are in the story from page one and it is a breakneck speed from that moment the wrong sister is absolutely true to that as well Claire Douglas does not deviate from what she knows works and it's stellar the other thing that I will note about The Wrong Sister is that there are a couple of really tiny Easter eggs that reference some of Claire's other books, um, which I absolutely love. I won't spoil them for you. So if you are a Claire Douglas fan, keep your eyes out for those, because when I find them, it, it's almost like a little reward. It's like a little treat for going, well done. I appreciate you. You're clearly a fan of my books which I love what can I say I'm very easily pleased so yes The Wrong Sister by Claire Douglas out on the 14th of March exceptional big tick from me chronologically next up in my list of things that I'm the most excited about we have The Family Experiment by John Mars now you may not know this but Tandem Collective have been on a John Mars marathon this year and we have read uh, the Stranger in Her House, which came out in February. And then two backlist titles we are celebrating are Keep It in the Family and What Lies Between Us. They are so good. <laughs> I had never read any John Mars titles um, up until this project. But having read those three books, he has very quickly become an author by author for me. I'm very aware that his work splits into um, kind of two factions. You've got the hardcore psychological thrillers, which are more kind of keep it in the family, that kind of stuff. And then you've got the uh, slightly more speculative thrillers. They are still thrillers, but they're definitely more of the speculative side. Um, but I have recently also read The One and The Passengers. I listened to them on audiobook from Libby and I'm completely sold. Both factions of John Mars's writing really, really work for me. And The Family Experiment is coming out in May. So 9th of May for that one. Um, and I'm so, so excited because there's an element of science fiction that I don't get on well with. It's a bit too out there and a bit too beyond. Um, but because John Mars writes like our world adjacent and it's very it for me it's much more speculative than it is science fiction um this one is very much on my list and I've been lucky enough to get a uh, a pdf from NetGalley for this one so as soon as I can in between workbooks I'm going to be diving into The Family Experiment by John Mars. The next book comes out in June and June is going to be a massive month for crime thriller books. There are so many amazing titles publishing in June, but there are two that I want to talk to you about today, both by absolute champions of the crime thriller writing world. The first one is The Chamber by Will Dean. So 
anybody who knows me will know that I love Will Dean. His most recent book, The Last Passenger, was exceptional, a very high concept uh, crime thriller novel. The concept of The Last Passenger is when a, a woman goes on a luxury cruise liner. The first night is lovely, everyone's having a nice time. Second day, she wakes up and there is not a single other soul on board this boat. And yet it is still plowing ahead uh, to its destination. So what the hell is going on? What's happening? The Last Passenger has that very particular ending where it ends and then there's an epilogue and it gives you this double punch of brilliance. Will Dean's next book is called The Chamber and it's coming out on the 6th of June. And this is going to be the perfect book for anyone like me who has ended up on the North Sea side of TikTok. For me, the description of this book gives North Sea meets submarine disaster turn of events, um, where our main character, Ellen Brooke, is readying herself to spend a month below sea in a hyperbaric chamber alongside five other divers. She is being paid handsomely for her work. They all are because they are going to be lowered into a diving bell on the seabed and taking it in turns to dive down, repair oil pipes that lie in the dark waters. It's a very close-knit team, and it has to be, because any errors or trust issues could lead to certain death. All is going to plan when one of the divers is found unresponsive in his bunk. He hadn't left the chamber. When you read something like that on the back of your book, you're just like, yes, I'm sold. It's, it's a locked room. It's a closed, it's a fixed cast under the sea. Yes, please. Yes, I would like to know more. From the tension and the frustration that I felt reading uh, The Last Passenger, I am so sold on the chamber. I've actually pre-ordered it as well. So hopefully when that arrives, I will get to jump straight into it. So the next book comes out at the end of June. So the, we are talking the 20th of June now. And we are, of course, talking about the master of the moral dilemma, Jack Jordan. He has had me identifying with all kinds of people in his past books. He has that ridiculous ability of being able to make the most horrific, horrifying characters resonate with you as an average Joe. Um, so his next book, the 2024 release, Redemption, I cannot wait to read. Um, let me read you the blurb. In Redemption, we meet Aaron Alexander, who has just been released from prison after an 11 year stint for a hit and run. He's got his heart set on freedom and peace. However, the mother of the man he killed has other feelings at play. Consumed by grief and rage, she has been waiting for Aaron's release, counting down the days until she can, can exact the revenge that he deserves. And now that time has come. But Evelyn and her husband Tobias embark on a road trip to track Aaron down. They find themselves caught on two different sides of a gripping game of cat and mouse because Tobias knows what Evelyn is planning and he will do anything to save her from herself, even if it means protecting the man who killed their son. But will it all end in redemption or retribution? <gasps> yes, yes, yes. So I have been waiting for this book ever since... Um, I finished the last page of Conviction, which is Jack's previous book. I was like, fantastic, great. I need to read more of your work. What's next? His first book with Simon and Schuster uh, is Do No Harm. It's Sophie's Choice meets Grey's Anatomy. And then the subsequent release, Conviction, sticking with a kind of Shondaland theme of recommendations, it's, it's Sophie's Choice meets a How to Get Away with Murder, complete with scenes at the Old Bailey and some of the most adept twists that I've read in a long time. So yes, Redemption, Jack Jordan, out on the 20th of June, and I couldn't be more excited. Just two more on my list to go, and again, by absolute titans of the crime and thriller world. The next one up is out on the 4th of July, and it is A Talent for Murder by Peter Swanson. Peter Swanson really rewrote uh, Strangers on a Train for me. He's done it a couple of times. He's done it excellently. And now I consistently refer back to him. It was A Kind Worth Killing and A Kind Worth Saving. And those books, having worked on them and read them, I then fell into the rest of his backlist. And again, this secured him as an auto by author for me. So in A Talent for Murder, Peter Swanson, of course, writes more of his darkly duplicitous relationships uh, which I and all of the other readers are absolutely here for and 
I can reveal, I can say that yes, Lily Kintner from both A Kind Worth Saving and A Kind Worth Killing does appear in this book as well. I'm ready. Like when I tell you I'm so ready for my next installment of Lily Kintner's Black Widow Darkness, like sign me up, sign me up. I'm so excited for this summer. It is going to be such a good summer of reading. And my last book also out on the 4th of July is probably the book that I'm the most nervous slash excited about. So of course it is Lisa Jewell, Lisa Jewell's next book, and it's called Breaking the Dark. Lex, why are you nervous about a Lisa Jewell book? You love Lisa Jewell. Yes, I do. However, I am not really a superhero slash Marvel fan. And Lisa Jewell's next release is a crossover between her crime thriller, gritty domestic suspense world and Jessica Jones from Marvel. And I have absolutely all of the faith that I will love this because it is a Lisa Jewell novel. And I'm sure she will sprinkle her magic on this world that I am so, so unaware of. So actually that gives me more excitement because maybe I'm about to discover something that I've been avoiding and that I should get into. So for those of you who don't know, Lisa's take on Jessica Jones introduces the character to a new audience. Jessica is a private investigator based out of Hell's Kitchen, Manhattan. She is a hard living, rough talking loner. Oh, and she also happens to be a retired superhero. Nothing is certain in Lisa's gripping and most imaginative novel yet which follows Jessica investigating two children recently returned to the Upper East Side after spending summer in the UK. However, they are different somehow. So what happened to Lark and Fox whilst they were in Essex? Jessica discovers evil geniuses playing a dangerous game with technology under the guise of making the world a better place and takes readers along for a ride. See, this does sound like something I'm going to on board with. The fact that it's Lisa Jewell and the fact that it sounds a little bit more speculative crime thriller fiction rather than full-blown superhero blowing planets apart in the sky type fiction. Either way, let me know what you think. Are you excited for this kind of Lisa Jewell slash Marvel collaboration? It is not something I saw on the 2024 bingo card. That is 100% for certain. So team, those are my six hotly anticipated titles for 2024. I actually have further additions to this list, which you can go and find out on our blog and also on our Instagram. Please do let me know in the comments below what you are the most excited for. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also get all of our creator opportunities direct to your inbox by signing up to our newsletter. And that will, of course, be linked in the description below as well. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok for the full list of the books that I'm excited for this summer, and I'll see you super soon. Thanks, team.